Hi guys, this is Giridhar here for Gadget Detail and I have with me Amrendra. Hi guys, how are you? So let's talk about computing. Everyone has their own unique needs when it comes to computing. Mm -hmm. I have a different need. Uh, I need a powerful system which I can do uh, image editing and also uh, some video processing. Mm -hmm. uh, I also need a portable solution. So whenever I travel, I need a powerful solution to take along with me and it must be lighter as well. Mm -hmm. I have a laptop with me, but the laptop is not that much portable. It's still heavy. Uh, so I'm looking for a change. So what is the list? I have similar requirement. So I have a desktop at home, like how you have here, right? And sometimes I want to sit in the living room and while watching TV I want to work. I cannot do that because I cannot move the whole desktop mm -hmm. to the living room. So initially I thought of buying an iPad Pro or an Android tablet. Mm -hmm. But be it iOS or Android, they have very good collection of tablet optimized applications. But when it comes to productivity, they fall short, right? And the applications that I use are not are not available on either iOS or Android. Right. So then I came across Microsoft Surface Pro 4, mm -hmm. which this is exactly what I needed. And if I keep it on the desk mm -hmm. and connect a mouse, mm -hmm. it turns into a proper uh, mm -hmm. desktop. I can take it to the living room, keep it on my lap, and use it as a laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, or unhook completely the Surface Pro 4 from the uh, the keyboard dock and turn this into a tablet. So you were almost excited when uh, they launched the Surface 4 Pro mm -hmm. and uh, it was quite a, what do you call it, an exciting uh, launch. Exactly, system. it was exciting. Yeah. exciting. It, and I was very, very excited and I wanted to buy that when it, was, when it is launched in India. Then I saw the price tag and I was like, ah, this is 85,000 rupees and my budget is 50k. And I can enter that 30k difference, I, I felt that it's not Worth justifiable. Exactly. Yeah. It's not justified for my needs. I'm not saying it's sort of bad ways. Mm -hmm. For my needs, I don't. I cannot go beyond 50k. Mm -hmm. So then I saw this uh, Smartron T book that was recently launched. Okay. This Smartron is a company that is uh, that started in India, right? It's created by Indians and it is designed for Indians. Mm -hmm. And the product is designed in India. And so I thought. And it's priced at 40,000 rupees and it's, mm -hmm. it, it fell right in budget. Mm -hmm. So then, why not like, give it a try? So, okay. he actually, have, I got one here. So, you can see this. You can see here. Now, this is the this is a T book, mm -hmm. right? And it has a latch. Okay. You can keep it on your lap and open the, this. Is the, this is the keyboard dock. So, this uh, keyboard comes along with the device? Yeah, it comes with the device. Okay. It's, it's shipped in the package. Okay, it uh, comes out of the box and the kickstand and all these things. Make this a computer. Uh, I mean, make this, make this a yeah. computer, complete computing solution. So they say that it's two in one, but I I can call it a three in one desktop, laptop, okay. and tablet. Okay. So there are many similar solutions in the market. I mean, not exactly what you see here, but the things mm -hmm. like uh, uh, thin ultrabook and netbook. So how would you compare that with this one? See again, ultrabook or netbook is like comes with this Intel Atom or Intel Dual Core. That is not at all powerful, right? Mm -hmm. So you cannot call that a proper laptop. Mm. And if you take ultra hook, it is thin and lightweight, but it's not a tablet. Yeah. It yeah. cannot work as a tablet, right? Yeah. Like if I take it to the kitchen, mm -hmm. it's not exactly a portable. I cannot use it like to check recipes and all. But this one, if I take it to the kitchen, just remove it, keep it in living room, and I, I can place it on the on the kitchen like this. Yeah. This one is kind of uh, serving a lot of purpose. Exactly. And uh, this one is powered by Windows. I think Windows works for everyone. It has yeah, a lot of applications. Powered and the, it comes with that universal web apps, right? Okay. So those applications, uh, kind of, the user interface adjusts itself according to the mode that you mm -hmm. that in the mode in which you are using the uh, T book. Okay. So it, it, let's. Uh, Smartron has given uh, this uh, review in it. So let's uh, review this uh, Smartron T book, yeah. and uh, we'll pronounce our uh, verdict later on yeah. and until then we will put this uh, through a proper torture test and don't do this okay don't do the bend testing and yeah. hammer testing and all when I mean the torture test is like performance it's intensive torture yeah, test exactly. so let's uh, fill it to the brim and do all the tests yeah. possible and uh, let's talk about uh, how we feel about this device later on in next video yeah. and until then uh, in the coming weeks so you uh, test your uh, uh, my need I'll and I'll, uh, in the meanwhile, I'll unbox uh, my unit here. So let's unbox the Smartron T-Book. Here is the peripheral box with the Smartron logo 
and product information sticker. As you can see here, Smartron T-Book is a product designed in India but manufactured and imported from China. The retail price is Rs 39,999. We have already opened the lid and now let's have a look at the T-Book up close. The inner box opens with a tab to reveal the T-Book tablet. So here is the T-Book. The T-Book is made of solid metal and it feels really good to hold in the hand. Let's keep it aside and see what else is there in the box. We have a charger which has an output of 3 mA with a USB-C port at the other end. Then there is this uh, keyboard dock. The keyboard dock is bundled along with the box. So uh, we have the quick start guide here and there is nothing else in the box. The keyboard dock has a nice velvet touch at the back. It also acts as a smart cover. The trackpad doesn't give a good feeling. It feels cheap, but the keys are nicely spaced and seem to have an optimal travel. It has magnetic ports that connect to the tablet. So here is the T-Book. It weighs less than a kg. The kickstart is built in and fits in flush with the back. The T-Book is made of magnesium and aluminium alloy. About the specifications, the T-Book has a 2 megapixel camera at the front flanked by 1 watt speakers, dual speakers and it has a 5 megapixel camera at the back. The display is 12.2 inch diagonally and it supports 2K resolution. The Smartron T-Book is powered by an Intel Core M processor clocked at 2 GHz. It's got 4 GB of RAM and 128 GB of hard disk storage. The hard disk is solid state device. About the ports, the Smartron T-Book has got a micro SD card slot which can take in 128 GB of memory and it's got two full sized USB 3.0 ports. There is also a micro HDMI port and a USB C port and a mic. The back has the connector which connect to the dock, the keyboard dock. You have the 3.5mm audio jack here. The power and volume rockers are placed at the top. The T-Book is powered by a 10,000mAh battery. It comes in two color variants. One is a burnt orange with grey, another one is full grey. Currently the burnt orange plus grey variant is on sale. The display comes with a screen protector, but I would recommend you to remove it. The 2K displays look vibrant and rich. Uh, just for an initial impression, I can see that the Windows 10 is running smoothly on the T-Book. The keypad is comfortable to type and it provides a good mechanical feedback. So will the Smartron T-Book suit the needs of anyone who needs a powerful and a portable computing solution? That is something we will have to reserve for the final verdict on our detailed review. So that was the videos guys. So if you like our video, do hit the subscribe button and uh, give us a like if you uh, like the job we are doing here. And uh, stay tuned for more of our videos. This is Gilder uh, from Gadget Detail. Thanks everyone.